Top 300 Civil Engineering MCQs in Public Health Engineering Part 1 Welcome back to CivTech Simplified. Introduction This video is brought to you by engineer Imran Aziz, a seasoned civil engineering professional with over 20 years of hands-on experience in the construction and infrastructure industry. Through his real-world expertise and dedication to knowledge sharing, this platform aims to bridge the gap between academic concepts and practical understanding. CivTech Simplified is a faceless research-based YouTube channel created to support civil engineering students, fresh graduates, and working professionals. Our mission is to simplify technical subjects and make them accessible to learners across the globe especially those preparing for competitive exams and technical roles in the field of civil engineering. In this video series on public health engineering, we cover essential definitions, foundational theories, and a set of 300 multiple choice questions, MCQs, to support exam preparation, job interviews, and university level assessments. Today's focus is on public health engineering. Part one, where we'll walk through the first 50 MCQs on core topics. Each question comes with a clearly marked correct answer, making it easier for you to follow along and reinforce your understanding. Let's begin this learning journey together. Basic Concepts Introduction The selection of source of water with minimum number of impurities is the most important essential of water supply system. The next thing in the water supply system is the complete layout from the source of supply to the distribution. The primary source of water is precipitation, which falls on the Earth's surface in the form of rain, snow, hails, dew, etc. Yield of a well The rate at which water percolates into well under safe maximum critical depression head is called yield of a well. The water level goes down when the water is drawn from the well. The difference between the depressed water level and the subsoil water table level is called depression head or infiltration head. Quantity of water. It is essential to determine the total quantity of water required for various purposes by the city or town while designing the water supply scheme. The quantity of water required depends upon the following two factors. 1. The probable population estimated at the end of the design period. 2. The rate of water consumed per capita per day. Grit chambers are used to remove grit from sewage. The grit removal is essential before its dilution in water and before it settles in sedimentation tank. MCQs Part 1 1. The water supply system means A the entire scheme of collection and disposal of liquid waste, b, the complete layout from the source of supply to the distribution, c, construction of reservoirs, d, construction of canals. Correct option, b, the complete layout from the source of supply to the distribution. Two, the water obtained from the tube wells is known as a, surface water, b, subsurface water, c, runoff, D. Potable water. Correct option. B. Subsurface water. 3. The water obtained from a lake is known as surface water. C. B. Disagree. Correct option. A. Subsurface water. 4. The water obtained from is generally known as underground water. A. Infiltration galleries. By springs. C. Rivers. D. Wells. Correct option. B. Springs. 5. The water obtained from is generally known as subsurface water. A. Rains. B. Rivers. C. Reservoirs. D. Artesian wells. Correct option. D. Artesian wells. 6. The horizontal tunnels constructed at shallow depths along the banks of a river to intercept the groundwater table are called A. Canals, B. Infiltration galleries, C. Springs, D. Lakes. 
Correct option, B, infiltration galleries. S seven, the vertical wells provided along the banks of a river to draw groundwater in dry season are called A, open wells, B, tube wells, C, artesian wells, D, infiltration wells. Correct option, D, infiltration wells. Eight, when a pervious strata is sandwiched between two impervious strata of cup shape, the well is called a tube well. A. True. B. False. Correct option. B. False. 9. A pipe sunk into the ground to tap the underground water is called A. Open well. B. Tube well. C. Artesian well. D. Infiltration well. Correct option. B. Tube well. 10. When in the pervious strata, the surface of water surrounding the well is at atmospheric pressure. The well is known as A. Gravity well, B. Artesian well, C. Open well, D. Deep well. Correct option A. Gravity well. Eleventh, absolute pure water is good for health. A. Right, B. Wrong. Correct option B. Wrong. Twelve, the Earth's water circulatory system is known as. A. Water cycle. B. Hydrological cycle. C. Precipitation cycle. D. All of these. Correct option. B. Hydrological cycle. 13. An artesian spring is formed. A. When an aquifer gets exposed in a valley against a vertical cut. B. Due to continuous fault in a rock through which water under pressure comes out. C. When a porous strata gets enclosed between two impervious strata. D. None of the above. Correct option. C. When a porous strata gets enclosed between two impervious strata. 14. The quantity of water available from an infiltration gallery depends upon the A. Size of gallery. B. Nature of soil. C. Yield of source. D. None of the above. Correct option. D. None of the above. 15. The quality of tube well water is O as compared to surface water. A. Good. B. Poor. Correct option. A. Good. 16. Uh, the continuous flow of water may be expected from A. Surface springs. B. Artesian springs. C. Gravity springs. D. All of these. Correct option. B. Artesian Springs. 17. The layers such as sand and gravel which allow the water to pass through them are known as A. Previous layers. B. Aquifers. Water-bearing strata. D. All of these. Correct option. D. All of these. 18. Which of the following statement is correct? A. The subsurface sources are not affected by draft. B. Infiltration galleries are most suitable for increasing the surface source supply in dry season. C. The rate at which water percolates into well under safe maximum critical depression head is called yield of well. D. All of the above. Correct option. D. All of the above. 19. The artesian spring has too much hydraulic gradient and water flows out automatically. A. Right. B. Wrong. Correct option. A. Right. 20. The water-bearing strata, i.e. layers of sand, gravel, etc., is called A. An aquifer. B. An aquiclude. C. An aquifuge. D. Zone of saturation. Correct option. A. An aquifer. 21. The layers, such as limestone and sandstone, which do not allow the water to pass through them, are known as A. Aquifers, B. Aquiclude, C. Aquifuge, D. None of these. Correct option, B. Aquiclude. 22. The portion of soil through which lateral movement of water takes place is called A. Water table, B. An aquiclude, C. Zone of saturation, D. None of these. Correct option, C. Zone of saturation. 23. The open wells or dug wells are also known as A. Shallow wells B. Draw wells C. Percolation wells D. All of these. 
Correct option, D, all of these. 24. The most important source of water for public water supply is A, lake, B, pond, C, river, D, C. Correct option, D, C. 25. The natural outfall of subsurface water at the surface is termed as spring. A, correct. B, incorrect. Correct option, A, correct. 26. The open wells or dug wells, A, act as a small storage reservoir. B, are suitable for a small discharge. C, are cheap in construction. D, all of these. Correct option, D, all of these. 27. The water of a river has an important property called A. Turbidity B. Self-purification C. Permeability D. Infiltration capacity Correct option B. Self-purification 28. Which of the following statement is wrong? A. The quality of tube well water is better than that of surface sources B. The discharge of tube well is more than that of an open well C. The tube well should not derive water from the first pervious strata. D. None of the above. Correct option. D. None of the above. 29. Runoff is the water which flows A. In infiltration galleries B. In sewer pipes C. Due to leakage of pipes D. In rivers Correct option. D. In rivers the growth of population may be conveniently represented by A. Semi-logarithmic curve B. Logistic curve C. Straight line curve D. All of these Correct option D. All of these 31. The yield of a surface stream may be obtained by A. Cross-section velocity method B. Stream gauging C. Chemical method D. All of these Correct option, D, all of these. Correct option, C, both, A and B. 33. The yield of the well depends upon the B permeability of the soil, B position of water table, T depth of well, in impervious layer D, all of these. Correct option, D, all of these. 34. The yield of the well is measured in A, cubic meters per hour. B. Liters per hour. C. Either A or B. D. None of these. Correct option. C. Either A or B. 35. The amount of water collected in a reservoir is divided into three portions, and the order of their existence from bottom to the top is A. Useful storage. Surcharge storage. Dead storage. B. Useful storage. Dead storage. Surcharge storage, C. Dead storage, useful storage, surcharge storage, D. None of the above. Correct option, C. Dead storage, useful storage, surcharge storage. 36. Which of the following statement is correct? A. The rate of silting in a reservoir is more in the beginning and less in the end. B. At the economical height of a dam, its cost per million cubic meter of storage is minimum. C. The percentage of water required for public use amounts to about 10% of the total water requirements. D. All of the above. Correct option. D. All of the above. 37. In India, as per Indian standards, water consumption per capita per day for domestic purpose is A. 85 liters. B. 100 liters. C. 115 liters. D. 135 liters. Correct option. D. 135 liters. 38. The domestic use of water amounts to O. Of the total water requirements per capita per day. A. 20%. B. 30%. C. 40%. D. 50%. Correct option. D. 50%. 39. The average consumption of water for commercial use varies from 20 to 25% of total consumption. A. Yes. B. No. Correct option. A. Yes. 40. According to Indian standards, 
The consumption of water per capita per day for nursing homes, boarding schools, and hostels is A, 85 liters, B, 100 liters, C, 115 liters, D, 135 liters. Correct option, D, 135 liters. 41. The water supply system should be designed for the present population only. A. Agree. B. Disagree. Correct option. B. Disagree. 42. According to Indian standards, 45 liters of water per person per day is provided in case of A. Hotels. B. Hostels. C. Offices. D. All of these. Correct option. C. Offices. 43rd. Which of the following formula is used for computing the quantity of water for fire demand? A. Freeman's formula. B. Kuchling formula. C. Buston's formula. D. All of these. Correct option. D. All of these. 44. In designing a waterworks for a city to meet the water demand for public use, a provision of about yeah, of the total consumption is made. A. 5%. B, 10%, C, 20%, D, 25%. Correct option, B, 10%. 45. The design period for a water supply project is taken as A, 5 to 10 years, B, 10 to 15 years, C, 15 to 20 years, D, 20 to 30 years. Correct option, D, 20 to 30 years. 46. The water mains should be designed for or of the average daily water requirement. A. 100%. B. 150%. C. 225%. D. 250%. Correct option. C. 225%. 47. For large cities, the suitable method for forecasting population is A. Arithmetical increase method. B. Graphical method. C. Geometrical increase method. D. Comparative method. Correct option, A, arithmetical increase method. 48. The increase in population of a young and rapidly developing city is estimated by comparative method. A, true, B, false. Correct option, B, false. 49. The arithmetical increase method of forecasting population gives we as compared to geometrical increase method. A, same value, B, Lesser value, C, higher value. Correct option, B, lesser value. 50. Suspended impurities consist of A, iron, B, chlorine, C, bacteria, D, all of these. Correct option, C, bacteria. Thank you for watching. You've completed the part, one of Public Health Engineering MCQ's series. 300 MCQs would be shared in total, fully solved and exam-focused. Our videos are perfect for PE, FE, PPSC, FPSC, SSC, JE, RRB, KPPSC, and more. Subscribe to CivTech Simplified for upcoming parts on this topic and other MCQs videos on hydraulics machines, highway engineering, soil mechanics, RCC, and more. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you.